Welcome to the President's Diary, a weekly program where we highlight the work of His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali. We begin this week by telling you President Ali and a delegation virtually attended the 11th meeting of the Prime Ministerial Subcommittee on the CARICOM Single Market and Economy on Friday, where he provided an update on the Special Ministerial Task Force on Food Production and Food Security. The President reported on the April to June progress of the MTF and recommended that it be further considered at the 42nd regular meeting of the Conference of Heads of Government next month. His Excellency Thursday morning witnessed the traditional piling of drums and laying of flags during the Ghana Police Forces Drums Head Church service to commemorate the Forces' 182nd anniversary. The event was held at the Police Officers Mess Annex, Eve Larry. The drumhead service is a precursor to a series of activities to commemorate the establishment of the police force on July 1, 1839. Then called the British Guyana Police Force, the entity started with 245 ranks. Today, the institution has several thousand members at posts all over the country. President Ali, who was accompanied by Minister of Home Affairs, Honorable Robson Ben, and several high-ranking officials of the Joint Services, has had a special interest in equipping the force with the necessary advanced tools and human resource training since entering office last August. The President believes that a stronger force would help to bolster the economic development that will revolutionize Guyana. Also on Thursday, President Ali extended best wishes for continued prosperity for Canadians on the 154th anniversary of the Confederation of Canada. Canada and the Cooperative Republic of Guyana have shared a long and fruitful relationship. Canada is Guyana's largest export market, a source of significant investment, and home to thousands of Guyanese citizens. Common membership of the Commonwealth of Nations has enhanced cooperation and deepened the share of values of democracy and respect for human rights, the rule of law, and each other's territorial integrity and sovereignty. On behalf of the government and people of Guyana, and on my own behalf, I extend greetings for continued prosperity and well-being to all Canadians on the 154th anniversary of the Confederation of Canada. On Friday, the President attended the official sword-turning ceremony of the courtyard by Marriott, which will be built within the Chetty Jagan International Airport compound at Tamari. President Ali says more investments like the courtyard by Marriott will give Guyanese equal opportunities, particularly job creation. We have now more than 40 international investors that are knocking at our door for different investment in the airport. For a matter of fact, I must inform you that the airport authority is short of land to facilitate these investments. President Ali says partnership in this vision is most critical for developing countries as the hotel will be a major recreational area. But today we stop to celebrate with the Basu family, with Maria, with all the stakeholders this momentous occasion. I congratulate you. I wish you well, and I give you the full commitment of the government of Ghana in supporting the full realization of this project. Friday evening, His Excellency virtually attended a town hall forum organized by the International Center for Democracy in New York, where he highlighted several major projects underway. President Ali said in under a year, his government, through its policies and programs, has been able to restore confidence in the country's democracy and economy. The head of state added that more than 40 projects have been approved for manufacturing and fabrication, including a cement and asphalt plant, a large-scale plantation farm, and agro-processing facilities. He noted that these investments will be made by the local private sector and those in the diaspora. The confidence in, uh, in our economy in just 10 months in a COVID environment has seen increased growth in agriculture, manufacturing, mining, construction, wholesale, and retail. In this COVID environment, where we are also managing a horrible flood, 
that has affected the lives of tens of thousands of our brothers and sisters, in which we had to deal with post-elections issue. I'm happy to report to you that our revenue target at the first half of this year has surpassed its projection by $11.3 billion as a result of the growth in these sectors. The president said the country has also witnessed a 100% improvement in the balance of payments deficit. They have also been able to stabilize reserve holdings and stabilize public debts to a sustainable level. We have seen great improvement in the labor market and increase in government transfers that would see social goods being given to the people of our country. The president said more importantly, the government has been able to remove in an annualized manner more than $50 billion of the tax burden that was imposed by the former government on the people of Guyana. He noted that his administration has also restarted tremendous investments in drainage and irrigation and infrastructure road works that will see the opening up of thousands of acres of agricultural land. This has been the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thanks for watching. Join us again next week.